Right. So yeah, I'm a kid, and I'm also a goofball, and a wing nut, and a knucklehead mixed <laughs> What's going on here? But most of all, I'm... Hey, settle down. I'm... Take it easy. I'm... What the scout? I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street. Under the sun, the bastard son will pop the clock to feed himself and family. Well, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy Great Nate here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get GTA 5 Save Editor, which will edit anything that you can do on GTA 5. Like pretty much turn it into GTA 5 online. So let's go. So first you want to go to your settings, system, storage. I already have GTA my GTA 5s on my USB. But if you don't, you, you're just going to go over here, go to GTA 5, go to the thing that, you're, that you want to move, go to move, and move it to the USB that you want to go to, which I've already did that, so I don't have to do that no more. So I will see you guys on the computer. Okay guys, we are here now back on the PC. So what you want to do, you want to open up your Chrome web browser, okay? And then, like, you want to enter in this CAPTCHA up here that will show up in just a second. Yeah. So it has a CAPTCHA, or I think that's what they call it, CAPTCHA, I don't know. Uh, and then you want to type it in, re, it's going to be, y'all will probably get different CAPTCHAs, and then glass. Okay, so I just typed it in, now I want to submit it, right there. And it's going to automatically start the download. I've already downloaded it, so I ain't got to do that. Okay. And then I'm just going to exit out this page. And then it says, cancel download. I want to do that. Okay. And then, so what you will do, you will get this thing called XB36 Hazards Installer. You're going to click on that. And it, it, I think it takes a little bit to load, not that long, but... It will all be worth it. Okay. So I don't think it opened. So let's just run as administrator. Did I do that right? I don't know. Uh, I think I did something. Um. No, no, I did it right. So what you will do, you're going to scroll down until you see... GTA 5 save or GTA save editor. You can also modify GTA San Andreas and stuff with this. I'm just doing this video for GTA 5. It says install. I've already got it installed. It takes a few minutes, but it'll install for you. And you want to go to GTA save editor over here. And it should load up pretty quick. I don't know though. Okay guys, it looks like I've got it to work now. So yeah, it's loading up. This is what you start out with. It takes a little bit to load on the bottom. As you can see, the loading bar right there. Yeah. So. I'll get back to you guys when it loads up. Unless it's going to load up right now.
Okay guys, it has just loaded up and we have freaking this crap up here. Get off the screen, come on bro. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's cr like, it's that antivirus crap. But anyway, yeah, so we're now here and what y'all guys probably want to do or y'all will do is click on GTA 5. I mean, I think on GTA 4, though, you can get underglow and crap like that. I'm going to have to check that out after this video. Uh, open device. Yeah, that's it. So, don't go to open file. Go to open device. It says it's loading devices down there. Okay, see, it brings up your flash drive right there. You're just going to go to open. It's going to bring up your profiles. I think you're supposed to press open your profile. Yeah, and it'll bring up your GTA 5 saves. I'm just going to bring up my 100% save, which I got from another video, if you guys want to see. You can back it up before editing, but just for video purposes, I'm just going to say no. I recommend that you back it up, but, you know, I mean, I can just download it off the internet again, so... Yeah, it's going to load a lot of loading in this, so. Like, guys, Horizon's good and all for GTA 5 modding, but this is, the, like, the grandmaster of it. Like, I'm talking about you can do everything in this. You can get the Karuma on single player, like, armored, not just regular Karuma. You can get the Insurgent pickup and Insurgent regular on single player. You can get, you can color buzzards and all that crap. And now we have it loaded up. Uh, in another video, I'll teach you guys how to use this saw. Or you can see another video on YouTube. So if this helps you guys find out how to download this stuff, just please comment, like, and subscribe for more daily content from my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.